Here is uh, the light heavyweight rankings and some of Jamal Hill's potential opponents. You got Yuri Prohaska right there at number one. He's still battling back from that shoulder injury that uh, forced him to vacate the title. Glover Teixeira, he's done. We're going to be talking about him in a little bit. But then you got Mag Magomed Ankalaev, Jan Blahovic, Alexander Rakic. All of these guys going to be targeting Jamal Hill now. And uh, Dean, I'll go there because, you know, the guy's talking a lot about people doubting him. Um, you know, silencing those doubts. Is the doubt going to stop, though, is what I'm wondering, because this opportunity did come quick for him. And I think that some of those names on that list, you know, he might even be an underdog against well, some of those. Yeah, for sure. I mean, but when you, I mean, that's the problem is, like, his path was so fast, and yep. we didn't know what he was made of. And the fact that he trains at, like, this small little place in Michigan, he against the doubters, he said, you know what, I'm not going to a big camp. I'm staying with my small guys, and I'm going to make it. And he made it, so there's still a lot of doubts. And I'm sure that those guys – from the bigger camps are going to be looking at him like food on the table. And when you look at guys like Alexander Rakic, Yuri Prohoshka, they're looking at him like, oh, man, I, I don't deal with guys like this before. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure they're still going to be doubting him. Yeah, there will be doubt, but there won't be doubt for me. I tell you what, you, to see the improvement from Jamal Hill and just to see in a short amount of time training for Glover to share it, to see how much improvements he made, I mean, I, what version of Jamal Hill are we going to see next? Because how much more well-rounded could he get? He already has so much natural capabilities with his power, coming out of both hands. Now the counter-wrestling, the get-ups off the ground. In round five, we're like, I, I, this might be over. And to show he can get out of these bad positions, get back to his feet, and actually maintain top position. I mean, you look at the performance tonight as a whole. It was very well-rounded. I will never doubt Jamal Hill again. Well, it's unfortunate that Yuri's hurt, but I would love to see that fight. It just seems like it'd be a fantastic striking battle, even some grappling in there. And then I think of Jan Blahovic and I think of Magomed. Those are two great grapplers that looked at this fight and they're like, holy smokes, Jamal Hill knows how to grapple. This guy knows how to scrap. I better try to get a hold of him now before he gets even better because he keeps leveling up. So I'd like to see him test himself against those grapplers as well. But if Yuri, if Yuri gets healthy, man, I think that's the most fun fight. But we know he's on the sidelines. There was one name I didn't see on the list, and there is an interesting storyline, Mr. Anthony Smith. Mm -hmm. There is an interesting storyline there, given they train together. He's right outside the rankings. I mean, yeah. Anthony pockets a win before Jamal's next fight. He might be the guy fighting him next. And, and that hey, would be an interesting you know, storyline. And, hey, how about Alex Pajeda? I mean, Glover hey, hey, threw that out there. Hey, Alex hey. Pajeda is yeah. absolutely going to be fighting at 205 at some point. So maybe we'll see that fight. And I agree with you. The Uri fight would be special. That would be a very absolutely. fun fight. And I think that one's going to happen inevitably at some point yes, in these guys' yeah. career. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.